Hey y'all, out here at uh, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and uh, he's got a 57 Chevy uh, convertible done. Guy sent it out of Atlanta. It's a little bit different style than we're used to sh uh, seeing, so I thought you'd all want to take a peek at it. Let me get the camera turned around and we'll take a look. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Scott? Good, brother. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh, nice no, 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 Yeah, no, man. That's what it's all about. I figure you'd be excited to see it. Yeah. Is it anything like what you just want? This don't even look like the same car. Yeah, that's what's brought it to us here. Huh? You can touch it. It's yours. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at it like it's a show car. You can't even touch. No, that's yours, brother. Man, I don't want to drive this car. Right? No, you, no, I can't believe that. Uh -huh. Man, damn. Open the door, sit down in it. Look good, you like it? I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I think he's tickled, Scotty. Wait, he doesn't even know. He's just he's just overwhelmed right now. <laughs> We've seen him like this before. They're just overwhelmed. Wait till Steve shows you all your little features. You don't even, you don't even see yet. Yeah, all the cool stuff you don't even know about. There's your trunk release button. There's your base knob in here. There's your convertible top, that switch that you brought. Yep. It didn't work either. I was like, man, I'll just put that in there. Power windows. All the air conditioning vents work up good. Let me turn power on. You can see your lights. Man, I like them gauges, too. Did you add those? Yes. Yeah, those are nice, man. Yeah, I like those console lights in there. Get yep. you. Put the tweeters in right here so you can hear them good. They're facing you and then the ones behind you, you can they're sort of you know up top a little so that you can hear them real good. And it sounds good. It, it rattles the whole it rattles everything in this building. <laughs> we put the speakers in the doors here. Run all them wires in there. Put these loom, looms in here, run all your power window switches and everything through those. And then uh you know, you didn't have a you didn't have a battery cut off or anything for your car, so I went ahead and hooked that up. We got a battery cut off. Okay. You can get to that and everything. And then if you need to charge, you know, if your battery's dead, yes, you just hook your negative and your positive up to that. Mm -hmm. You can charge your battery up. That's the first time he's done that. Yeah. And everybody's oh, gonna want right. that in their car. Yeah. I mean, because any show you go to, they're gonna want you to cut the power to it. If it's an indoor mm -hmm. show, especially. And man, right there you go. Yeah, instead of taking the battery out, you know. Instead of having to dig to find your there. battery and get to all that, that's the way to go. I ended up selling my truck. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, that is cool. Look at that console. What do you think? Is that like you expected? Yeah, see, we put all the tweeters in. It's got a heck of a stereo system in there. It's got a uh, subwoofer. It's got the tweeters separate. Yeah, we put the separates in the door, the woofer part in the door, and the back kind of Kind of like molded it, too, 3D. That's cool, man. Those door panels yeah, are made, awesome, dude. Made all them, you know, where it had that dimensional look in it. Right. It's got the power driver's seat in it. <laughs> it's about ready to go. dude. I'm hoping his friends will like it and bring some cars down here too. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see under the hood. We cleaned up all the, you know, cleaned it up real good, all that stuff, and made him a sharp little ride at it. I like that you put power window switches on the back panel there for the passengers in the back. That's cool. Yeah, it's got power windows in the, the oh, front man. and back. It's got the LS3 motor in it. Boy, that's nice. Have you spent any time driving it? No. No? I've been taking it from place to place. Right. Actually, I got to take it from here to, uh, to MTI tuning, uh -huh. that'll tune the engine transmission and fix my brakes for me. I got you. My brakes got a little play in it. Mm. A, a lot of play. How long have you had the car? About five years. Yeah? Yeah. Did you build it or did you buy it? I bought it in Cleveland, Tennessee about yeah. five years ago and I played with it and played with it. And I said, no, I wanted to do it right. Right. Yeah. So I, I just put the engine and transmission and brakes and all that right before I brought it to uh, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Man, dude. That is cool. There's a lot of tri fives out of there, but that's cool, man. That one stands by itself. You know, I love those wheels. Thanks. What are those on it? Twenty uh, twos. Yes. All the way around. Yes, sir. Forged line. Yes. Man. 
Had you wanted something like this for a long time? I got three of them. You got three? Well, I sold one of them. I sold, I had a 50, I still got the 55, and uh, I had a 56. I sold it to a guy. I think he's going to bring the uh, Steve also. Yeah? Yeah. Man. See what I was talking about, about that red top? It looks so much better with the red interior in it. What color was it? Black? It was a white top. Oh, white top. It was top. a white vinyl top, and yeah. it, really didn't, it showed all the rubber and everything. Yeah. It really didn't have a good look to it. And I knew with the red, I looked at the calipers and stuff on this thing, and the little red flag emblems on this, and especially with red leather here. Right. You know, that, that red top would really. And it's a cloth top up. now, it too. Is, yeah. yeah. It's a red stay fast. Yeah, that's top. nice. Man, yeah, wow. But I mean, it's like, you know, night and day difference looking at it now. With the... Dude. This whole car is cool, isn't it? Yeah, it, it turned out pretty sharp. You got a name for it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You yeah. wouldn't be the first one to cry now. Get a little tear <laughs> emotional over it now. No. I get yeah. emotional. They're not even my cars. I just love them that much. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's nice. Yeah. Is it running real bad coming to the bank? But we just cleaned it all up and got it looking good. Man, man, man. It don't even look the same. No, oh, no, it, it changes the whole appearance of the car. Folks, there you go. To say, hey, that's another satisfied customer from uh, Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors. I think that's an understatement. Very good looking car. Turned out well. So, hope you all enjoyed it. See you.